Hi traders, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I hope all of you are doing good. And uh, we are back again with one more session of learning today. What we are trying to do today is that we will analyze Bank Nifty on multiple time frames and we will try to understand the clues from the market and which are our entry points and exit points. And we will also touch upon some fine tuning on the technical analysis, what we do on candlesticks. And we will also, if time permits, then we will scout for stocks which we can carry for portfolio. So let's get started. So as you can see, we are on a monthly time frame chart for Bank Nifty. And uh, if you have noticed that these are the lines which we have drawn last week, right? So if you notice, these are the lines <clears throat> which are acting as uh, our next level of support. So market is little away and here we are getting a rejection. So we can expect till where the market can come down and take the support. This is the level where the market can drop and take the support and then move forward from here. So watch out for this. Maybe you can find a little bearish month uh, this month and uh, it can come down till here or mid level or maybe the next month can be a candle like this. Okay, so we have to, this is the most high probability that it can happen because of the kind of uh, market we are seeing since last one to 10 days. So let's go to a different time frame now. Let's have a look at a weekly time frame. So weekly time frame, week one, week two, week three, week four. Four weeks the market is still creating 50% candles. So if you remember 50% candles always show that there is no one party winning this game, neither bulls or nor bears. So bulls and bears are both fighting in this zone and they were not able to drag the market to their desired levels. I can see that bulls are getting weaker here and bears are wanting to pull the market down which is clearly visible on a weekly time frame but till which level they will be able to drag it this is the next level of support which is coinciding with our super trend level as well so you should watch for this level trend is still up we can put up a trend line also here this is a major trend line this is a minor trend line okay there are two trend lines which are forming and if this trend line acts as a support if you have noticed that three things one is your trend line is also coinciding at this level You have super trend, you have support and resistance levels. So all these three things are colliding at this level. Now, how do you identify whether we are getting a proper entry or not? I will show you on a different uh, you know, chart. I'll, I'll take a blank paper and then I'll show it to you. So first, let's go to a daily time frame and analyze. Daily time frame is completely sideways, as you can see market is in this range for quite some time now so whenever you get a breakout on either sides you can expect a further move from there so let's mark this level also let's put up a line here so that we can be sure about the levels for trading so this is our support level and this is our resistance level right so we have marked the support we have marked the resistance so it is in this range you have to see if it continues to move like this then this is the place where it will get rejected and this is the place where it gets support if the support is broken then you can ensure that this is going to come down till 32465 okay so this is on a daily time frame friday the market was completely sideways 
we can see that it stayed in this range for quite some time it went up it was below VWAP above VWAP below VWAP above VWAP so this blue line is about VWAP it was moving around so it didn't give much of an entry so let me teach you one more concept today called as change of guard that means bulls have lost the game now the guard is with sorry bears have lost the game now the guard is with bulls so you can expect this is your first confirmation this is your second confirmation for entry and after this till where will be your target so after you take an entry you can expect the market to come to this level again that will be your target and your stop loss will be here so whenever you are seeing a market which is falling do not try to short the market immediately from this level always wait to see this kind of patterns okay so to see this kind of patterns forming and then you take an entry and ride it till here so this is called as bottoming tail bar change of guard and then you will be easily getting about 40 to 50 points so same thing in reverse will be true for a short entry that means you see three green bars or four green bars or five green bars going up and then a topping tail bar or a narrow range bar and then a change of color with this change of guard kind of a candle green candle which is closing above the high of this bar then you can short and ensure that you will get 40 to 50 points in that trade easily i hope you have learned something new with this i'm sure you can practice this on, on any of the charts let's uh, try to see if this has you can see it here itself you can notice here market came down and then there was this change of guard candle okay about this whenever it closes you take an entry it is not necessary that you will get an entry in the next candle it can be a subsequent candles or two three candles where you get this entry and then you can take a right till VWAP from here VWAP will be your target okay so this is practically possible and you can watch this on multiple time frames you will be able to easily make big moves see this see this change of guard narrow range candle and you are able to keep a stop loss here and move the first target is VWAP and if your stop loss is not hit not hit then you could have gone till here so this this particular rule based system if you follow the only loss you will have is this much the gain will be this much and it is very easy for me to tell this but it takes a lot of psychological edge for you to complete this kind of rule based trading because the moment you see that okay i have got this much of gain my gain till here is 5000 so then you will start feeling oh should i close my position and you will see that there is a reversal candle oh it might hit my stop loss i might lose all the gain but if you have a rule based system you have to wait you have to wait till the stop loss is hit you should not close the position now at this position you will definitely want to exit with neutral most of the people exit here again they see that oh it's gone up so but if there is one trade which you have taken and then holding this stop loss without changing it you could have gained this entire move and whenever there is a super trend break you could have exited that's how the trading is done and you have to follow certain rules very clearly otherwise it is going to be a waste of an effort and time for you to trade because you will never make money so this is trend based trading which i'm teaching here and if you are a scalper or if you are somebody who is wanting to pick up trades with a stop loss you can do that but i always advise to do hedge strategies which are there on my channel 
you can work uh, with very beautiful uh, strategies on butterflies and ensure that you make money consistently so let's look at the stocks which we can pick up for this week quickly let's go to our charting indicator scans weekly super trend oh so we have got reliance industries which has given us an entry and tata steel so i think reliance industries is a good catch for us let's look at that Where is Chinese and this is here? So let's have a look at Reliance Industries. What is it doing on a daily time frame? So we will load our chart setup. So here it has given proper super trend entry and you can see the stock is in an up move. So entry was here, we could have gone long here. Weekly super trend entry on a weekly time frame, let's have a look at that. Yes, we are getting an entry here, the can closed above the weekly super trend so yes we can go long on this and it has consolidated for a long period of time now it is moving up so that's it for this week traders and thank you so much for watching this is my channel please do subscribe to this channel so that we can continue the work which we are doing you got about uh, 100 and uh, Two videos in this which you can watch and learn from this and uh, there is a lot of learning in this videos which you can go through and i'm sure this will definitely help you to make you a successful trader thank you so much for watching and have a great weekend